Clicking this button allows you to choose one brick or a whole group of bricks at once. Notice that the picture on the button changes each time you press it. This copies the object you have chosen. Click in the world to place the new object. This turns the object you have chosen. If the object doesn't move, it may be hitting another. This undoes the last thing you did. If you make a mistake, click this button. If you press undo by accident, click here. This takes you to a new place in the Lego world. Click this button, click where you want to go in the world, and you go straight there. This moves you around objects. Click this button with the left mouse button to turn 45 degrees around the object one way, and with the right mouse button to turn the other way. This opens the LEGO Creator website. Have a look at other Creator worlds and models. If you don't like something in the world, then throw it away. Click the object in the world and click this button. This closes LEGO Creator. This takes a photo of your world and prints it. This shows a list of destructor bricks in your world. These are bricks that you can blow up. Take cover. This sets the time in your world. Click the button to set the time to night or day. You can also set your LEGO world to change as your day changes. This moves you towards or away from objects. Click the plus button to move you closer and the minus button to move you away. Keep the mouse button pressed down to move faster. This takes you back to the view you have of the LEGO world when you first start Creator. This is very useful if you get lost in the world. Move this slider to look up and down in the LEGO world. Click the arrow buttons to move up, down, left or right in the LEGO world. Keep the mouse button pressed down to move faster. Move the ball with the left mouse button to move around the LEGO world. If you use the right mouse button, you can move up, down and side to side. This takes you back to the viewpoint screen. From here, you can return to the normal view. Click this arrow to show more groups of LEGO objects. Move the slider to set how fast you move around the LEGO world. If you move the slider all the way to the right, you'll move very fast. This opens your box of LEGO bricks. Click here and I'll help you find out more about LEGO Creator. This lets you change how LEGO Creator works. This shows all the LEGO models and worlds that you have made, which you can use again at any time. This shows all the LEGO bricks that you can use. To use one, click on it and then click in the world. Moving the slider shows you more LEGO bricks to build with. This shows all your action bricks. These are bricks that do cool things like explode or move when you play your LEGO world. To use one, click on it and then click in the world. Move the slider to show more bricks. This shows lots of different colors. To paint your LEGO bricks, click on a color and then click on the bricks in your LEGO world. You can even make bricks see-through. Move the slider to show more colors. This shows ready-made LEGO models that you can play with straight away. To use one, Click on it and then click in the world. Remember though, these models can't be taken apart. Move the slider to show more. This shows ready-made LEGO models that you can play with straight away and also take apart. To use one, click on it and then click in the world. Move the slider to show more. This shows some LEGO backgrounds that you can use. Click on one to choose it. Remember, if you have objects in your current world, these will be lost. Move the slider to show more backgrounds. This shows some LEGO minifigures. To use one, click on it and then click in the world. You can change things about the minifigure, like its legs or head, when it's in the world. This shows LEGO models you can play with in your LEGO world. To use one, click on it and click in the world. This lets you set how minifigures act and what they look like and what action bricks do in the world. You can only see this button when the minifigure or action brick is chosen. This returns you to the main menu. Move this slider to show more LEGO objects. Click this arrow to show more LEGO objects. This shows all the LEGO worlds you've saved so far. To open a world, click on its picture. Move the slider to show more worlds. This shows all the LEGO models you've saved so far. To open a model, click on its picture. Move the slider to show more models. This lists all the destructor bricks you've put in your LEGO world. Click a plunger to blow up the brick right away. Click a clock to explode the brick after a short while. Click a question mark and wait. When will the brick blow up? This lets you build your 3D world. When you click this button, you can add LEGO bricks, models, minifigures and lots more to your LEGO world. This runs your LEGO world. When you click this button, 
things start to happen all over your world. What, me? If you click on me and then on a button or a picture, I'll tell you all about it, just like now. This saves your Lego worlds or models, so you can use them again. If the worlds list is open, clicking this button saves the world. If the models list is open, clicking this button will save the model. Your model will then appear in the models list or your world in the worlds list. This removes Lego worlds or models that you've built. Click a world or model from its list and click this button. This makes the minifigure sit down in the Lego world. This makes the minifigure stand up in the Lego world. This makes the minifigure walk around in the Lego world. This adds a hat to the minifigure. Each time you click here, a different hat appears on the figure in the Lego world. This adds a backpack to the minifigure. Each time you click here, a different pack appears on the figure in the Lego world. This changes the minifigure's face. Each time you click here, a different face appears on the figure in the Lego world. This changes the minifigure's body. Each time you click here, a different body appears on the figure in the Lego world. This adds a tool to the minifigure. Each time you click here, a different tool appears in one of the figure's hands in the Lego world. This changes the minifigure's legs. Each time you click here, a different pair of legs appear on the figure in the Lego world. This adds sounds to the minifigure so it can talk. This makes the figure a pilot or a driver and sets how it steers around the Lego world. This closes the minifigure screen. This shows that the minifigure can drive Lego models when you play the Lego world. This shows that the minifigure can fly Lego models when you play the Lego world. This shows that the vehicle will move around the Lego world following a figure of eight path. This shows that the vehicle will move around the Lego world in a circle. This takes you back to the main minifigure screen. Move the slider to make corners larger or smaller. Move the slider to turn the path to a new position. Move the slider to make the path longer at the top and bottom. Move the slider to make the path longer at the sides. This sets the sound the figure makes when it meets another minifigure. There are six sounds you can choose from. The standard Lego sound and sounds 1 to 5. Each time you click this button, you choose a different sound. This sets the sound the figure makes as it walks around the Lego world. There are six sounds you can choose from. The standard Lego sound and sounds 1 to 5. Each time you click this button, you choose a different sound. This sets the sound the figure makes when it bumps into something. There are six sounds you can choose from. The standard Lego sound and sounds 1 to 5. Each time you click this button, you choose a different sound. This lets you see the world as a minifigure sees it. This lets you follow a minifigure around the Lego world. You also get this view when you click a minifigure in the viewpoint screen. This shows a view that keeps a minifigure in the center of the screen. You can control the minifigure by clicking it with a mouse and moving the mouse with the mouse button held down. This allows you to run through how models were put together and print out building instructions. This allows you to access all of the available views in LEGO Creator, from minifigure viewpoints to LEGO cameras and the normal free view. This takes one LEGO brick away from the group. To see how the group was made, click this button until there's nothing left, and then click the right arrow to add one brick at a time. This prints the group of bricks. This adds one Lego brick at a time to the group, so you can see how it was made. Move the slider to set the detail level of the studs in the Lego world. The further right you move the slider, the more detailed the Lego bricks look. This changes how Lego Creator shows the Lego world. For more information, see the Lego Creator guide. If you have put Lego road base plates in the world, click this button to make the vehicle drive on them. This lets you watch the minifigure walk around. This lets you become the minifigure. Use either a joystick or the arrow keys on the keyboard to move around. This lets you watch the minifigure drive the vehicle. This lets you drive your Lego vehicle. Use either a joystick or the arrow keys on the keyboard to control it. This lets you watch the minifigure fly your Lego model. This lets you fly your Lego model. Use either a joystick or the arrow keys on the keyboard to control it. Move this slider to set the size of the explosion. The further it is to the right, the bigger the bang. This closes the destructive brick screen. This lets you manually move parts of hinged action bricks when you play the world. This makes parts of hinged action bricks flap on their own when you play the world. This makes parts of hinged action bricks spin around on their own when you play the world. If you move part of a hinged action brick when you play the world, click this button to put the brick back to its original position when you click the build button. If you move part of a hinged action brick when you play the world, click this button to keep the brick's new position when you click the Build button. Move this slider to set how fast and in which direction the brick flaps or spins. Move it to the left, and the brick spins or flaps to the left. Move it to the right, and the brick moves right. The further the slider is to either end, the faster the brick will go. Move this slider to set the position that the brick will move from 
when you play the world. To make a brick flap a long way, move this slider to the left, and move the maximum angle slider to the right. Move this slider to set where the brick will move from when you first play the world. After this, it will then move from the minimum angle position. Move the slider to different positions to see what happens when you click the play button. Don't forget to click the OK button first. Move this slider to set the furthest position that the brick will move to when you click the play button. To make a brick flap a long way, move this slider to the right and move the minimum angle slider to the left. This closes the screen. You have to click this button before you can play the world. Now click a button and I'll tell you all about it. Now click on something. Click on a button. Hey, click on something to find out what it does. What can I do for you? OK. What do you need to know? Hi, welcome to LEGO Creator. To learn how to build LEGO worlds, click on the button below with me on it. You'll be building fantastic 3D worlds in no time. Welcome back to LEGO Creator. Remember, if you want help on a button, click on me. Have fun. Hello again. Want to know what a button does? Click on me. Happy building. Hi, welcome back. See the wizard button below? Click on it to learn more. Have a great time. Hi, what are you going to build today? Have you seen all the cool models you can build and play with in LEGO Creator? Have you discovered destructive bricks yet? They're cool. Have you tried driving or flying a LEGO model yet? They're cool. Hi, did you know you can make your own building instructions? You can share your LEGO Creator models with your friends. Why not try walking around as a LEGO minifigure? You'll see Lego in a whole new way.